I'm Jenny, and today we're going to talk about activating and deactivating your VT SCADA license. The most important thing to keep in mind is each serial number or each license can be installed on any one computer at any given time, and every computer can have one VT SCADA serial number installed on it at any given time. So let's talk about a little bit more about how to actually activate and deactivate your license. Now, when you install a new VT SCADA license on a computer that has never had VT SCADA installed on it before, you will be presented with three options to activate your license when installing. The first option will be to activate just by clicking the activate button if you're connected to the internet. The second option is to export an activation link that you can then use on a device that is connected to the internet and activate that way. The third option is what we call a manual activation, and that is where you call us and we provide you a 16 digits alphanumeric activation code that allows you to activate without any access to the internet in case you are in a environment that does not have internet access. Now, once you're activated, VT SCADA will function as normal. Now let's imagine you are moving your VT SCADA license from one computer to a brand new computer. What you can do in this case is you install your license on your new computer, but you click activate later, which is this button right down at the bottom, instead of activating right away. And this gives you 30 days to move all of your data from your application, your history, whatever else is on your old computer to your new computer. And then once you've tested everything, ensured it works well on your new computer, then you can deactivate on your old computer and then activate the license on the new computer. You have 30 days in order to get this all done. So let's say we activate our license by clicking the activate button over the internet. You can see in our license management window, which can be found in the VT SCADA application manager or on the VAM by clicking on this little hamburger menu in the left. And then we have a license management option. The license management window will tell you whether or not your serial number or your license on your machine is activated or deactivated. Let's say you wanna deactivate the license because you're moving it. You open the license management window and click the deactivate button. You'll get a warning that will let you know not to deactivate a live production system. And assuming that you're all good to go, you can click deactivate. Let's say you're not connected to the internet and you need to deactivate your license. You will be provided a 16 digit alphanumeric deactivation code that you can call and give to us over the phone and that will allow us to deactivate your license without an internet connection. So again, it, you can either click the deactivate button and if you're connected to the internet, it will deactivate automatically, or you can call us and provide the 16 digit alphanumeric code over the phone and we will deactivate your license for you. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is what about if your computer just fully dies and you cannot get that deactivation code? Give us a call and we'll get you sorted out. And finally, if you want to read more about activation and deactivation, you can go to our help files at vtscada.com or click F1 anytime you're using vtscada and under welcome and installation and activation, there's an activation and deactivation article that gives you a whole bunch of information, lots of details in case you have any more questions about activating and deactivating your vtscada license. Thanks.